What's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is episode 168. Ah, can you believe it? 168. I am live on Instagram. Hey, Instagram. I'm live on Facebook. Um, today's episode, I'm gonna. We're talking about. First of all, we are counting down. This is actually day six of Level Up to Stardom. If you don't know, I am teaching at the 10 year anniversary of the Bronze Lens Film Festival in Atlanta, Georgia. Space is limited, but we are gonna have an amazing day, August 24th. So every day, I'm gonna, my attempt is to go live every day up until the event. So we'll see how we go with that. But the event is called Level Up to Stardom. So this is what we're doing. It's the kickoff event for my new book, Playing Small, that's coming out this Thursday. Like it's so much goodness. So I'm like, let me just feed the people, feed the people. So this is Actors Daily Bread though. And this is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work and live a life that you love. Again, if this is your first time watching, I wanna welcome you. Uh, if you so all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So if you're new to me, excuse me, my name is Christine Horn. I'm a professional working Hollywood actress, and I'm also a life and career coach for actors just like you. So if you're an actor who especially wants to work in film and television, just stay tuned. I got you. So this is episode 168, and today I want to talk about your inner Rocky. So as we gear up for the Bronze Lens Film Festival in Atlanta, I really want to really kind of dive deep um, especially for those of you who don't know me well, I take for granted that so many of you know me, but a lot of you don't. So I want to dive deep into my methodology. And I can't go long today. I can't be long-winded, FYI, but I can't because I have a client at 5.30. Um, and that's in 16 minutes. <laughs> so my whole methodology, if you're new to me, is... You know, people often ask, Christine, how did you start booking so much? How did you go from zero credits? How did you go from working on Broadway to and not working on TV to, you know, in the past two years, I think I've had an over like 20 something IMDb credits added. And it's, a, it's all about getting to know your mama. So all my students out there, you already know what I'm talking about. But getting to know your mama is my whole methodology. It is why I book so much. It is what I teach all my students. Everybody who's watching on Instagram and Facebook, you know this, right? So that's your mindset. That's your acting technique. That's your marketing and your audition technique. So for the next, until we get to Bronzeland's Film Festival, on August 24th, I'm just going to show up. And we're going to talk about one of these because this is what I teach all the time, right? Hey, Sabrina. Hey, Neil. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Saudia. Hey, <laughs> um, Sexy B. Y'all with these names. But let's get into it. So, you know, I was thinking today about um, what holds some of you back and some of us. Let's be real. See, y'all got me sweating. Y'all know it's going to be good if I'm sweating. I'm already sweating, Neil. I got my Whitney Claw right here. I got my Whitney Claw. <laughs> but listen, you know, sometimes we get auditions, we get opportunities, and we get to a point where we've had rejection after rejection after rejection after rejection, right? Say, type yes in the comments if you've ever been rejected. <laughs> if you've ever had a no, <laughs> hello, raise it high. And so then that what happens is when the next opportunity comes, there's this timidity that happens. There's this apprehension because we automatically assume, we don't say it this way, but we assume that what happened in the past will now determine what's going to happen next. And I, it made me think, I was thinking about this today, about what I wanted to share with you to jump off this whole series before, the, before Bronze Lens, is I want you all to think of Rocky. Not, if you've grown, you have seen a Rocky movie in your life. For my, for my millennials, just think Creed, okay? But for my old heads, let's think Rocky. And think about how many fights he lost. Yes, he won some fights, right? But then he lost plenty. He, and he lost and got beat down on a, you know, some fights that really mattered to his career, that really could have made a huge impact. And it's really easy and I'm sure he, and you know, this is what we got to see in his character. He had a moment of defeat, feeling defeated, like, damn, you know, like, oh, I really tried. I trained. And what happened? I don't, I don't know what happened. And haven't we all been there as actors? Especially if something I think, I think of some of you parents here in the thread who have 
kid actors. You know, you go through the rejection with them. And so it's this decision that has to happen. And it's the same decision that happened for Rocky, that happened for Michael B. Jordan and Creed. There's this moment that says, you know what? I may have fallen down. That audition may not have happened, right? I may have lost that fight. But something in me says, yo, something in me, I know I'm a winner. I have to get back. You know, that ultimate scene, Rocky's on dun 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 right? He's going up the steps. He's going up the steps. And like you're fighting it with him, you're just feeling it. And it's like he made a decision that the past did not have to determine the future. And so what I want to charge all of you with today is to tap into your inner Rocky, especially in these moments. Especially, I just went through one of these two weeks ago, y'all, where I was like, oh, God, I was so close. So when the next thing comes up, I can't live in that moment. I have to tap into my inner Rocky. I got to get on them steps. I got to put my gloves back on and step into the fight. But see, you know, you may not have booked the last 10, 11 things you auditioned for, right? You may not be getting called in as much as you want, but you have to know the next time could be the time. So you got to stay ready, right? Thank you, House of Arquette, Arquette, right? You have to know that. You have to trust in that. So the past does not determine the future, number one, and you have to believe and trust within your heart and soul that a different outcome is possible. And the way we can see that is we have to have a vision up here. We have to have a vision in our mind's eye of what the new outcome could be. Yes, are you with me? Put a one in the comments if you like, if you're feeling me, okay? We have to. And so it does, it starts with the mind. And so, so many times, us as actors, we want the quick answer. We want the quick fix. Christine, just tell me how to do it. Stop with all this mindset stuff. No, I can't stop with the mindset stuff because that is what will talk you out of it. If Rocky let, thank you for the ones on Instagram. I see you. Thank you for the ones on Facebook. I see you. Thank you. We have to tap into the inner Rocky that says, okay, I was embarrassed, I fell down, I got knocked the F out, <laughs> right? I fell flat on my face. Like whatever the analogy is, like we've all been there. And if you haven't, if it, happened, if it hasn't happened yet, it will. But I say this, I speak to your hearts today as we gear up for Bronze Lens Film Festival. Listen, I'm so excited to dive deeper in this. And my charge for myself Y'all know I love a good goal. <laughs> I'm a goal getter over here. So I plan on going live every day that I'm, I'm able to go live. Now listen, y'all might have some days with no hair. There might be some days with no makeup, okay? I went live on Saturday while I was walking, sweating with a wig cap on, okay? So just be prepared for what may happen. Just be focused on the word, okay? What's up, Triana? What's up, Jericho? I haven't seen you in a while, Jericho. Come on, Jericho Horn. Monica, Sabrina, Merrily, TC, Marbra. I see you. Michael Henry. What's up? Shout out to Michael, who was uh, just on that new show. What was it called, Michael? City of Angels? I'm messing up the whole show. I know that's not the name of the show. But tell me what show you were on so I could, um, so I could shout you out here publicly. I did Lion King with him. Um, <laughs> hey, Arisha. So listen, I do have a favor. Hey, Ern hey Ernest. Uh, so you guys, can we agree? Can we agree to tap into our inner Rocky on our next opportunity? Can we touch and agree right here? Right? Can I get an I will in the comments if you're going to tap into your inner Rocky? Look, I got an audition tomorrow, and I got to tap into my inner Rocky tomorrow because it was something I really wanted a few weeks ago and I didn't get but I'm not gonna let that stop me because what? I'm a booking magnet, as are you. I'm a booking magnet, I'm a booking magnet, I'm a booking magnet, I'm a booking magnet. My, one of my managers is on. Hey, Angie! One of my managers is on this live and she even calls me a booking magnet because why? I call myself that first. You gotta speak that life into you first. Tap into your inner Rocky. Your past does not determine your future. Don't believe those lies. Don't believe those lies. So y'all gonna catch me live all to, till we get to Bronze Lens Film Festival. I don't know what time, so don't ask. Whenever I get a moment, we all, we all agree, may or may not have hair on, may or may not have makeup, we good. <laughs> but let's all tap into our inner Rocky and decide that we're gonna show up, we're gonna train, we're gonna stay ready, so we ain't gotta get ready, right? <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Carl, hey Carl, he said he saw me in Stuber. Yes, there's a movie called Stuber out. I haven't seen it yet, Carl. See, I'm sweating for y'all. Y'all know this is real and I sweat for you. I got my Whitney claw in honor of Whitney. <laughs> but that would just be upper lip, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I love you guys. Um, awesome, awesome. Thank you for hanging with me tonight. So yeah, we're gonna go live every day. Um, until Bronze Lens Film Festival. Again, if you are anywhere near Atlanta, if you can drive, take a bus, take a shuttle, I need you to get to Atlanta August 24th. I will be teaching all day my methodology. We're gonna work on mindset. We're gonna work on audition technique, like self-tape specifically. I'm a beast at self-tapes. And everything I teach about self-tapes, you're supposed to do that in the room. Some people think, oh, that's just for what I do on tape. No, when you're going in the room, they're still taping you. Do the exact same thing. So that's the stuff we're gonna teach. I'm gonna get my hands on whoever is there and we're really gonna dive deep on that. We're gonna come up with marketing strategies for each and every one of you who show up so you don't feel like you're being thirsty, desperate, and you're just feeling like lost in the sauce. Why would anybody care? Why should I send anything? We're gonna go over that kind of stuff. And then of course, acting. Because what good is marketing yourself and being a good hustler and selling yourself when you're, you can't act? You get the audition and then you can't deliver. And that's going to affect your confidence, which affects your booking ratios, all of that. All right. I'm going to take a few comments before I leave because I do have a client in like eight minutes. Sheena, I'm coming, girl. Um, <laughs> Monica Anderson, come on, try. There's no, there's no try. What did my husband say? I'm so not a Trekkie Star Wars person. Listen, there's no try in Jedi, just do. I know I'm totally messing up that quote. I'm probably gonna get, really get some hate mail by uh, fans. <laughs> hey, Brandon. Yes. <laughs> oh man, yes. So again, I'm gonna go because I need to go. If you miss any part of this, you can watch the replay. This is episode 168 of Actors Daily Bread, which means there are so many more episodes. Come watch me on YouTube and get your life binge. If your desire is to work more in film and television, you need to watch these videos, especially if I have any Broadway babies out there who are trying to make that transition from theater to film and TV like I did, and I feel like you're struggling, you need to watch these videos. If you haven't booked in a while and you're not getting feedback and your agent or your manager can't seem to put their finger on why you're not booking or getting called back, you need to watch these videos videos. And if you want to meet me, let's work one-on-one, -on -one, hand in hand, come to Atlanta. Bronze Lens Film Festival, um, August 24th. I have a discount code exclusively my, for my community that they created, but it expires August 1st. So if you're on Instagram, you can click the link in my bio. On Facebook, click the link above or below, and you can get the discount. You can still get tickets afterward, but the discount will be gone after that. All right, I'm going to get ready for my clients so she don't be mad at me. You guys have an amazing night. I'm going to see you tomorrow. I don't know. Listen, I'm going to give you all a little sneak peek. You see this whole list? Don't be trying to look. Boom. Boom, mm, all these topics going live on all of that. Some of this has come out of your mouth specifically to me, so I can't wait to talk about this. We're going to go live every day. Whew. This is public accountability. This hair is hot, so I gotta go. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna go end on Facebook, bye.